Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint by Sing Shong Chapter 70 A Kingless World Part 1 The Last King's Test It was an extreme trial that had to be overcome with your body only. The floor of Guangwoman was a mess. The absolute throne was in the center while the kings were fighting each other. King of Beauty, Min Jiwen. The Mithraya King Cha Sankyung. Supreme King Yu Jonghyuk. Then the middle-aged man in the corner. He was the neutral king. The neutral king raised his hands as he met my eyes. The neutral king has abstained from fighting for the throne. As the name suggested, the neutral king wasn't greedy for the throne. Only the remaining three were greedy. One of the three was Yu Jonghyuk, so the fight should have ended in less than a minute. At least, if it was the original story. Die. Methriya King Cha Sankyung's leg split apart the air, while Yu Jonghyuk's kick struck Cha Sankyung's abdomen. Kook. However, Cha Sankyung wasn't as damaged as expected. It was because all stats were changed to level 10. The skills were sealed, so Yu Jonghyuk had to win the battle with just his flesh memories. Min Jiwen looked behind them and saw me. I nodded slightly at her. We meet again. Yes. I didn't want to fight you if possible. Min Jiwen must have filled the other king's qualifications if she came to this place. It was great. I honestly didn't think she could survive until the end. If you don't abstain, I will attack. Try it. Do you think it will be easy? We have to fight with all our stats at level 10, with no skills or no stigma. It was too shabby compared to the kings who broke the city while fighting a while ago. There was a loud noise, and Cha Sankyung screamed, cough. W.Y. Cha Sankyung rolled around painfully on the floor after being struck by Yu Jonghyuk's fist. It had been an equal fight until then, but something was changing little by little. Skills and stigmas couldn't be used, but Yu Jonghyuk's attacks were getting faster and harder. It wasn't merely Yu Jonghyuk's combat sense. Min Jiwen became surprised as she noticed. How? If I remembered correctly, Yu Jonghyuk knew the loophole of the last phase. Maybe these messages were currently rising in Yu Jonghyuk's mind. 400 coins have been invested in physique. 400 coins have been invested in agility. 400 coins have been invested in strength. The funny thing was that this battlefield controlled everything except for one factor. It was the use of the coins. The constellation Lady of the Brocade Sleep questions the fairness of the scenario. The intermediate Dakibi laughed. Haha, what is your question? It is a natural right to be able to use coins. The coins are the hard-earned work of the incarnations. They worked so hard to gather coins that they should have a chance to use it. Yu Jonghyuk was raising his stats using his coins. Oh, the stats increased with the coins will be reset after the scenario is over. So be careful. It is like throwing away coins into the air. Ha ha ha. Min Jiwen and Cha Sankyung's complexions darkened once they heard the words of the intermediate Dakibi. Perhaps they didn't have much coins remaining. It was natural. They wouldn't be able to save coins in the battlefield between kings. But Yu Jonghyuk was different. Yu Jonghyuk grew by breaking through all types of hidden scenarios from the beginning and always carried an appropriate amount of coins in reserve. The original third round Yu Jonghyuk had around 30,000 coins at this point. Now he had more coins than the original story, so, it should be around 40,000? There was the loud sound of somebody being hit and Cha Sankyung's body flew through the air. The Mithraya King Cha Sankyung is out of combat. Yu Jonghyuk looked at the nearby Min Jiwen. She jumped with surprise and hurriedly raised both hands. I will abstain. King of Beauty Min Jiwen has abstained from the battle. Finally, Yu Jonghyuk turned towards me. His angry eyes calmed down. It was understandable. If he took the absolute throne, he could control all kings, and it wouldn't be a problem to get his sister back from me. But would that happen? Yu Jonghyuk. We aimed out swords at each other. 
I couldn't use any skills so I had to rely on my flesh memories and my stats. For the first time, Yu Jong Hyuk's blade was visible. It must be a fake. He was estimating my stats and how much coins I had left. He was truly a prudent person. It was a trick to win by investing the minimum amount of coins. However, his pride would cause his defeat this time. It was because there wasn't any king in Seoul who had more coins than me right now. Coins possessed, 80,850 C. Who would think that I had 80,000 coins? I laughed at Yu Jong Hyuk, who was running towards me. I'll hit you gently, so please don't die. Now was the time to spend big. I invested a large number of coins into strength. 4,000 coins have been invested in strength. Strength LV 10 to Strength LV 20. 5,000 coins have been invested in strength. Strength LV 20 to Strength LV 30. 6,000 coins have been invested in strength. Strength LV 30 to Strength LV 40. 11,000 coins have been invested in strength. Strength LV 80 to Strength LV 90. 12,000 coins have been invested in strength. Strength LV 90 to Strength LV 100. 72,000 coins have been consumed. Your strength has broken through the limits of a human. The achievement has been processed. You are the first to achieve a three-digit level in strength. 30,000 coins have been acquired as a reward. I adjusted the power in my fist. A strike containing 100 strength was enormous. It would be difficult if I accidentally killed you John Hyuk. I felt the space around my fist bend slightly. According to Ways of Survival, all stats had different destructive power from the moment they broke through the three digits. How did it feel? Of course, it felt like I was a killer. It felt like my fist was holding a check for a billion one. Yu Jong Hyuk's eyes widened as he hurriedly used coins. However, it was too late. There was a sound like a sonic boom. Yu Jong Hyuk shot into the sky like a baseball being hit by a bat. Unfortunately, it was impossible to hit a home room in this stadium. The flying Yu Jong Hyuk hit a barrier, bounced in the opposite direction, and hit another barrier and landed on the ground after repeating this ping pong action five or six times. Surely he wasn't dead? I ran towards Yu Jong Hyuk with a bit of confusion in my heart. Damn, why did I do this? I should have used a bit less strength. I carefully pulled Yu Jong Hyuk off the ground. Then. Ah, this was a main character. Yu Jong Hyuk was staring at me with wide open eyes. He was still conscious, despite being hit by a punch filled with 100 strength. Yu Jong Hyuk? Jong Hyuk? His eyes didn't move. This bastard, did he faint with his eyes open? Did I hit him that hard? No, I would have to keep hitting you Jong Hyuk in the future. W.E.L., Yo will be in trouble if you keep acting as usual. How can you say to kill me every time you see me? I slapped his swollen face. Somehow, I felt his eyes move whenever I hit him, causing my to feel nervous. In any case, he was breathing. The bones in his body were broken and he was bleeding. It was a situation where he couldn't use the recovery skill, so his life could be in danger. I had to do my work quickly. Supreme King Yu Jong Hyuk is out of combat. Congratulations! You have passed all the tests of the absolute throne. The ward in the air slowly disappeared. The temporary stats added by the coins are reset. All constraints on the kings have disappeared. The constellation Prisoner of the Golden Headband has his hair standing up from excessive carbonic acid. The constellation Secret of Plotter applauds your actions. The constellation Demon-like Judge of Fire admires your patience. 4,500 coins have been sponsored. I also heard the messages of the upper grade constellations. The constellation Lady of the Brocade Sleep is regretful. The constellation One-Eyed Mithraya has thrown away his eye patch. The constellation Founder of Hanamgun feels a grudge towards you. Of course, the kings of the three kingdoms blamed me. Thanks to me, they missed an opportunity to jump to the narrative grade. Oh, a surprising winner has appeared.
The intermediate Dakibi looked somewhat dissatisfied. He hadn't expected me to win. Yet I had won. Well, good. This is the result. Now, I am informing all incarnations of soul. Just now, a new owner of the Absolute Throne was born. I stopped the intermediate Dakibi who was about to launch the system messages. Wait a minute. What do you want? The Dakibi's eyebrows twitched. You are too hasty. I haven't even sat on the throne yet. Shouldn't you ask me first? You will go up now, so does it matter? I approached the absolute throne. At this moment, I felt all constellations observing the soul dome focus on me. The absolute throne floating in the sky slowly descended towards me. It showed off its golden charm like it had been waiting for me for a long time. I asked the intermediate Dakibi, what can I do with this? You can do anything to humans. It was short but scary. The absolute throne is just the name of the item. As long as you sit on the throne, you can become an omnipotent power. No one on this earth can stand against you and everyone will bow before you. The people looked at me enviously after hearing the Dakibi's explanation. It was natural to envy me. Everybody had run to this place for this reason. The constellation Lady of the Brocade Sleep is licking her lips. Even the constellations. It was really pitiful and strange. They felt envious, despite knowing the real identity of the item. I really disliked the constellations. Is that all? Huh? It is too good that it is ridiculous. I will enjoy absolute power on the land that I control. Isn't it right to receive a reward in return for suffering? How many times have you almost died due to the throne? Ah, so the throne can act beyond the constraints of plausibility? What? You are good at lying. Aren't you a Dakibi? Won't the bureau say something if you scam me like this? The expression of the intermediate Dakibi hardened. On the other side, Bai Hyung was looking at me with a pale face. I am tired of this talk. I have to finish the scenario. Now sit on the throne. If you talk nonsense one more time, I will break the absolute throne. Ah, you can do that? Then go ahead. Huh? I looked at the Dakibi and the people staring before opening my mouth. I will never sit on this absolute throne. A terrible silence swept through Gwangwoman. Chapter 71 A Kingless World Part 2 There was the sound of thunder in the sky and it started to rain. Light rose from the absolute throne to touch the sky. Thick rain clouds swirled around this light. It was a sign of the fifth scenario, the Great Hall. The intermediate Dakibi opened his mouth amidst the rain. What did you say just now? The throne, I won't accept it. I don't know why you're doing such a thing. Don't you think it will benefit you to gain more coins at this time? Didn't you just use a lot of coins? You should be rewarded. If you don't have the power of the absolute throne, the soul dome will never survive the fifth scenario. The people in Gwangwoman screamed at me once they heard the Dakibi's words. What? What are you thinking? Don't be stupid and sit down quickly. Damn, I will sit. The Dakibi kept talking like he thought it was going his own way. That throne can give you what you want. Just sitting on the throne will build up your narrative and the sponsor you have contracted with will rise. Don't you know what this means? In fact, I could hear the outcry of the constellations in my ears. The constellation adventurer who stands up an egg wants to be your sponsor. The constellation COAEIL pill wants to be your sponsor. 500 coins have been sponsored. The intermediate Dakibi continued to speak in a cold voice. I will warn you in advance. I'm not like the low-level Dakibis. Don't think that flimsy tricks will work on me. I looked at the absolute throne. As the Dakibi said, the fifth scenario would be difficult to clear without the absolute throne. However, I knew what the Dakibi wasn't saying. If I used this absolute throne once, I would never be able to reach the end of the scenarios. In the original work, Yu jong Hyuk noticed this only at the 14th regression. The absolute throne was such an item. 
Why aren't you becoming king? An agitated person appeared among the crowd. The man breathed out and spat at me like I insulted him. I turned towards the man. That is what I want to ask. Why do you want me to become king? What? What will you do if I kill you after you become king? The lips of the man stiffened for a moment. I continued watching the people around us. All of you are the same. Have you already forgotten? We originally didn't live in a kingdom. Why are you acting like citizens of a kingdom? Why didn't I want to be king? It was simple. I don't want to be the king of ugly humans like you. I looked up at the sky while speaking. In addition, I don't want ugly constellations like you to be my sponsor. Then I looked at the throne. Thus, I will never sit on the absolute throne. But. I pulled out my blade. I won't allow other people to sit on the throne. Once someone sat down, it meant that no one else could sit. The intermediate Dakibi's cold eyes flashed. You should be careful. I'm not that patient. I continued to speak as I stared at the Dakibi. How long will you continue to be drawn helplessly into the Dakibi scenarios? Does anyone know what it means to sit on the absolute throne? I knew how much the people who were once obedient would pay to leave this obedience. The constellations of the Korean Peninsula. It is the same for you. I know that not all constellations are the same. Some constellations are low and some are high. There was an invisible rank among constellations. Just as some constellations watched the incarnations, other constellations watched the constellations. To be precise, the low constellations were the ones being watched. But is it enough now? How long will you turn this land into a playground for unhappy guests? The constellation One-Eyed Mithraya is immersed. Working up to build up history to become a constellation and then building up narratives to become narrative-grade constellations, then what? The higher the sky, the brighter the star? How long will you continue using the descendants of this land for your own sake? The constellation Lady of the Brocade Sleep is silent. At this moment, the intermediate Dakibi acted. I can't stand it any longer. A system message arrived at the same time. A new sub-scenario has arrived. Plus. Sub-scenario, Forced Succession. Category, Sub. Difficulty, B. Clear conditions, suppress the incarnation, Kim Dokja, who doesn't want to sit on the throne and place him on the throne. Time limit, 30 minutes compensation, 6,000 coins failure. Plus. Yes, I thought it would turn out like this. The people who had been shaken by my words were now approaching. In the end, it was just like the Dakibi said. The people present and me as well. No matter what I said, they would sell their conscience for a few coins. Of course, this didn't apply to everyone. Pass me if you can. A woman appeared in front of me. People faltered at her growled out words. It was Young Hee Won. No matter what the world is like, there is something you shouldn't forget. Yu Senga suddenly approached. Lee Gil Young was standing behind me with a hammer, like he had been waiting. Young Minsiab and Lee Sungkook also came forward. Sometimes, Representative Nim is more like the protagonist than Yu Jong Hyuk. Yu Jong Hyuk isn't this crazy. There were also surprising people. Just this once, I will help you. Your words are convincing. They were King of Beauty, Min Jiwen, and Mithraya King Cha Sang Kyung. I didn't know which of my words had moved their hearts. However, it was clear that something had changed. Even so, it was only a handful. You are playing well, what are all of you doing? Pull him down now. People started running towards the throne. Young Hee Won pushed through the people around me and asked, Doc Jess SI, do you have an idea? Yes. What should we do? Buy me some time. I have to destroy this throne. The length of the new scenario was contained in this throne. I pulled out a sword, causing someone to cry out. The 4 in Demonic Beheading Sword. The S Plus Grade 4 in Demonic Beheading Sword. However, it was an item that could be changed into a star relic if certain conditions were satisfied. 
It was because the four in demonic beheading sword was an item made with the soul of a constellation. Gampiangui's special option Echo of the Stars has been activated. Echo of the Stars allows you to ask for the help of a constellation. I'll call a constellation. The great constellations hear your voice flowing through the stars. I called out to the constellations like I had memorized a spell. I want the first star of the Big Dipper. The greedy wolf star, dub he. I want the second star of the Big Dipper. The great gate star, Merak. I want the third star of the Big Dipper. The blessing star, Fecta. I want the fourth star of the Big Dipper. The literate turn star, Migres. I want the fifth star of the Big Dipper. The clean and pure star, Aliaf. I want the sixth star of the Big Dipper. The military turn star, Mizar. The star navigation has begun. The six constellations are looking at you. The thousands of constellations disappeared and my mind became heavy like a crowded subway. I felt dizzy while blood flowed from my nose and ears. It was hard to even think. My brain became overloaded the moment I contacted six constellations at the same time. The great bear star started talking. What are you thinking? You called all of us. Your mind will be completely destroyed. Why call us? Why don't you go the easy path, instead of the thorny path? However, I didn't stop. Yes, one more constellation needed to be called if I wanted to use the four in demonic beheading sword. But there were no constellations left on the sky disk. You have exhausted the number of times that Gampiangui can be used. I pulled out the dragon jar that I got from the Tyrant King and dissolved something in it. The seven-person dungeon, the dissolving jar. I put two items in the jar. I will sacrifice the S-grade 3 ring loop and the S-grade Gampiangui to call one more constellation. The dissolved power of the dragon jar has shown its strength. The S-grade 3 ring loop has disappeared as a sacrifice. The S-grade Gampiangui has one more use. I once again used Gampiangui and called one last constellation. I want the seventh star of the Big Dipper. The broken army star, Alcade. Seven stars filled the air. The seven stars that made up the Big Dipper were all gathered. At the same time, the seven stars spoke to me. What do you want from us? I want to cut off the signs of the constellations. Lend me your sword. Do you know what this means? I know. I did this despite being well aware of the risk. The final reward of the fourth scenario was the absolute throne. The throne was an item that borrowed the power of a god of the world. It would be very convenient if I got the throne. I would be able to put restrictions on. Yu Jonghyuk and the enemies threatening me would disappear. But Seoul would surely be eliminated. It would be a complete destruction without any salvation or miracles. It was the price to be paid for borrowing the power of the throne. In order to obtain the ending I wanted, no one could take this throne. Even the heavenly constellations are afraid of the founder of the throne. But you, a human, wants to challenge the owner of this thing? I can do it with your help. And I'm not fighting against the owner. I just want to cut the connection between the owner and this thing. It is likely that you can't afford it. You will die. It is something that I've decided. Then I will start now. The seven stars were silent. Some time passed. The Big Dipper shone brightly and their signs were engraved onto the sword. I shall respect your will. Even if you die here. We will remember you. A dazzling light wrapped around the four in demonic beheading sword and it started to burn with bright flames. The S plus grade 4 in demonic beheading sword has evolved into the star relic 4 in demonic beheading sword. The star relic 4 in demonic beheading sword was originally a ceremonial sword. It was a sword to cut off evil energy and prevent disasters. I swung the sword towards the absolute throne. There was a loud sound and fire flared. The 4 in demonic beheading sword was one of the few items that could break the link that a constellation had to a star relic. There was a tearing sound in the air. As if it started to notice something, an ominous black light floated above the absolute throne. 
I swung it a few more times, and the foreign demonic beheading sword started to collapse. Now I had to believe in the Big Dipper stars. Yusenga cried out, Doc Jess S.I. Quickly. I wielded the sword like a madman. I ignored the breaking blade and continued to hit the throne. Sparks flashed and the blade broke. Then finally. The constellation linked to the star relic Absolute Throne has disappeared. The unknown god has noticed a change in this world. The Absolute Throne became an ordinary chair and lost its light. The intermediate Dakibi's angry voice was heard. You lowlifes can't grasp who you are dealing with. The sub-scenario has ended. People stopped moving. The scenario was over, so they didn't have to continue. The Big Dipper stars told me. Incarnation, prepare for the flooding of probabilities. As soon as I heard the voice, blood poured from my mouth. It felt like something was pulling at my presence. An enormous power that seemed to tear at my flesh surrounded me. I struggled to regain my mind. It was going to be okay. The probability would become plausibility. I tried my best to make everything plausible. Thus, I could overcome this. I barely held on to consciousness. Then a star in the distant night sky shone quietly. The constellation Maritime War God is looking at you. It was a calm, lonely but gentle gaze. The constellation Bald General of Justice is looking at you. Then too. The constellation Last Hero of Wangsenbeel is looking at you. 3. The constellation Lady of the Brocade Sleep is looking at you. The intermediate Dakibi called out when he saw the messages from the constellations. Why? Every time a star was added, my pain diminished a little bit. I realized that the constellations were sharing the probabilities that I had to bear. The story that isn't plausible became a plausible story with the consent of many stars. Numerous stars were wrapping me in their light. The Big Dippers also lent me their strength. Is this the story that you wanted to show? I wanted to answer, but I didn't have the power. We will watch you, King of the World Without Kings. The Chaotic Soul Night Sky. I looked at the stars that sent me light. The constellation King Hunma the Great is looking at you. The constellation One-Eyed Mithraya is looking at you. All the upper-grade constellations of Seoul were shining towards me. There were many stars. Still, it wasn't enough to overturn the dark night sky. I looked up at the turbulent clouds that filled the Great Hall. The fourth scenario is forcibly ended. There was an unscheduled incident, so it will take time to settle the scenario. I wiped the blood pouring from my nose, and the intermediate Dakibi approached. You have made the worst choice. You will regret what you did today for the rest of your life. I will make sure of it. I laughed as my vision blurred. The Dakibi's words meant that I won the game. You have accomplished a non-existence achievement. Your new narrative is created. The narrative king of a kingless world has been born. You have obtained the possibility of a stigma. I didn't have a next regression. I would reach the end of the story in this world. Chapter 72 A Kingless World Part 3 the first narrative was built. With this, the main goal of the fourth scenario was achieved. What the hell is going to happen now? No, why did you break the throne? There were people who were bewildered by the situation, while others were scared about what the angry Dakibi would do. From the perspective of the people present, I was a sinner who made the fifth scenario difficult. Some people cried out to the Dakibi. Make the absolute throne again. I'll join the scenario again. This time I will be the master of the throne. The scenarios that have already ended can't be changed by anyone. Anything that happens to you from now on is the fault of that human. The intermediate Dakibi's answer was cold. The Dakibi pointed towards me while the wet shoulders of the gathered people shook. A world with no kings? Okay. Let's try it once. I will see how well you can survive without a focal point. The intermediate Dakibi flicked his finger. Then the people in Gwangwaman started to disappear like smoke. People screamed and ran away. 
What? What is this all of a sudden? This was an unscheduled development. I looked back and saw Yong Hee Won, Yu Sangha, Lee Gilyoung, and the others calling out to me. Doc Jess SI. The next moment, Yu Sangha disappeared. Then Lee Gilyoung and Yong Hee Won. Next was Yong Min Siab and Lee Sung Kook. One minute after the Da Kibi flicked his finger, I was the only one remaining in Gwangwaman. The intermediate Da Kibi looked at me with a creepy smile. Please keep this in mind. If this world is destroyed, it is all because of you. The moment I wanted to speak, there was a ringing sound. My body shook and I was moved elsewhere. It was accompanied by severe nausea and a headache. I lost consciousness because I had consumed a great deal of energy. 10,000 coins have been earned a settlement for the fourth scenario. I slept for quite a long time because I was tired from excessive contact with the constellations. I even dreamt. It was a dream from before the end began. Hey, aren't you awake? The moment I heard the voice, I realized it was my high school days. They were the days when I was beaten up by the school gangsters. Yes. There were times like this. It was a childish dream, but I became furious when I thought about it again. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you want to kill someone? My head fell back from his slap. Blood flowed from my cracked lips and my tingling cheeks caused a feeling of shame. Arms, legs, and shoulders. Pain came from all these places. It might be a dream, but it was more painful than reality. Maybe it was because there was no fourth wall here. Why? If it is too much, stab me. Do you want to appear in the same newspapers as your mother? My clenched fists trembled, but I couldn't hit him. At that time, what had I been thinking? If only I was you John Hyuk. Yes, that's right. This was what I thought in my misery. It was the time when I was reading Ways of Survival. I say the name on the uniform's name badge. Song Minwo. What was he doing now? I remember that he had gone to university and was working well. That was the first time I thought the world was unfair. I didn't know if he was still alive. The exclusive skill, fourth wall, is activated. My dream collapsed and I was left in the dark again. Exclusive skill, omniscient reader's viewpoint stage 3 has been activated. Voices started to overlap. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? Representative Nim? Doc Jess Asai, where are you? They were the familiar voices of people I knew. The words were conveyed through the third-person perspective of omniscient reader's viewpoint's third stage. I knew who the voices belonged to without looking. Ah, uh, why here? Doc Jess Asai? Can you hear me? There was a bar with various types of wine. Yong Hee Won was frowning and sighing. A love letter. I will meet that a juicy again, damn, why did I fall to the school? Lee Jai Hai was touching her cheeks as if she had been hit by someone. How come, why, here? Lee Hyun Sung was trapped in a nearby military base. I could roughly guess what happened based on people's reactions. The people in Gwangwaman seemed to be moved to places they had an association with. That's why Lee Jai Hai was at a school while Lee Hyun Sung was sent to a military base. Lee Hyun Sung was the most pathetic one. Maybe it was the damn intermediate Da Kibi's doing. He created a situation where the incarnations were scattered all over the place. No matter how irrelevant it was to the main scenario, the intermediate Da Kibi would surely be reprimanded. I looked at the confused people and muttered. I'm fine, so take care of yourself. I will see you soon. They couldn't hear me, but I hoped the words would reach them. Exclusive skill, omniscient reader's viewpoint stage 3 has ended. I slowly returned to consciousness as my eyelids opened. Black clouds were still swirling over Seoul, like a black hole. I got up and looked around. It was a panoramic view of Seoul. It was a place where skyscrapers and high-rise buildings could be seen. That reminded me, I should be moved to a place related to me. At first glance, it looked like the rooftop of a high-rise building in Seoul. This place. Damn, I thought it was possible, but I really didn't want to come here. 
A few constellations are looking forward to the words you will say to yourself. Minosoft? This was the rooftop of the company I worked for, Minosoft. A few constellations are disappointed. The constellations who don't like to be rushed are pleased. When I saw the indirect messages that came to my mind, I felt that the constellations focusing on me had expanded after I broke the absolute throne. The constellation Prisoner of the Golden Headband threatens the newly appeared constellations. The constellation Secret of Plotter is coughing at the pretentious people. Why did I come here? A street in Seoul without any cars. The offices with the lights turned off. I felt nostalgia as I saw these familiar buildings. It was the first time I went to work in a month. I felt really weird when I remembered coming up to the rooftop with Deputy Yoon after being scolded by team leader Han. When previously I had been testing new games, now I was cutting people with a blade. Was Deputy Yoon still alive? I turned my head and saw messages flashing in the air. There are 10 days before the start of the fifth scenario. The scenarios were flowing as I expected. If the absolute throne was destroyed, Seoul Dome would get a respite for 10 days. The fifth scenario, the Great Hall. During this grace period, I had to find a way to clear the fifth scenario without the absolute throne. A sub-scenario is in progress to supplement the interlude. Plus. Sub-scenario, survival activities. Category, sub. Difficulty, C+. Clear conditions, survive for 10 days in the ruined city. You should eat three meals a day and get at least six hours of sleep a day. Don't forget to pay 500 coins per day before going to sleep every night. There will be a clear penalty if you violate any of these three rules. Duration, 10 days, compensation, none failure, death. Asterisk this is a scenario where a coin event is applied. Asterisk all monsters in the scenario have a certain probability of dropping coins. Plus. I roughly knew how things had gone. The existing scenario was completely destroyed so they hastily put together a sub-scenario. Furthermore, it overlapped with a coin payment event. I thought they were going to do it soon but I hadn't expected it to start already. A survival fee of 500 coins a day, it was a scenario that couldn't be cleared without a coin event. Anyway, now I had to move. I couldn't miss out on the chance to replenish my coins. Then people's voices were heard from below the roof. Drag it. Quickly. I looked down and saw armed people entering the building, with others behind them. Minosoft was located near Siochogu. But in my memories, there were no king forces in the Siocho area. Then who were they? I carefully observed the armed people and realized something. Yes, they were the wanderers. Each person had a different way of living in this destroyed world. Someone would become king and others would become the people. Someone else would become a wanderer without any affiliation. And Seo Cho was the land of wanderers. I turned on my smartphone to look up the information on this area. Unfortunately, I was out of battery. I needed to find a place to recharge the battery or find a spare battery. I opened the roof door and went downstairs. I passed through the president's office, the planning department and the finance department. I walked through the office of the QA team that I had worked in for a while when I stopped. It was fair to say that my memory was quite good. I went into the office and opened the drawers one by one. It was because I thought a spare battery might be left behind. At that time, someone entered with a flashlight. I reflexively pulled out my sword but there was a strange noise. Eh? D Doc Jess SI? It is Doc Jess SI. Then I saw the man's face. Deputy Yoon? Ah, you're alive. You are alive. It was Deputy Yoon of the QA team. It was really terrible. I heard from Deputy Yoon about what happened at Minosoft. To be exact, it was what happened after I got off from work. The first scenario started for all the people on the night shift. Deputy Yoon spoke while holding his nose. The corridor of the company was filled with rotting body odor and maggots. 
Some of the bodies had faces of people I knew, but I didn't see any mourning or sadness on Deputy Yoon's expression. Do you know? That guy over there, team manager Kim, I killed him. Why, that bastard? I stabbed his neck with a ballpoint pen and blood, it really was like a game. Deputy Yoon. Eh sorry. Is it uncomfortable talking about this? Haha. <laughs> It was a natural change, but I felt bitter seeing Deputy Yoon's changed appearance. No, maybe this was what Director Yoon was like now. Are you alone here? Huh? Ah, I'm not alone. By the way, where was Doc Jess SI? Ah, uh, I... I didn't see you in the company. What group are you affiliated with? Were you somewhere else? Yes, well... Something similar. I was originally on the Gwangwoman side of the bridge when Deputy Yoon didn't listen to the end as he interrupted. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Doc Jess SI, you luck is really bad. Huh? There is no need to pass through all the scenarios. Don't you know? If you hide well and use moderate tricks, most scenarios will be broken by other people. There is no need to risk your life. Haha, <laughs> it is very comfortable, despite the world being like this. It was true. If you became a wanderer who didn't belong to anyone, you could get rid of some scenario that must be cleared and have the main scenarios cleared by someone else. There were many such people in Seoul Dome. The problem was that if you lived in hiding and were caught by surrounding groups, you would die. There was no prey as good as the wanderers moving alone. You don't have to worry. Wanderers also have a lot of power. Is there a need to be a king to build power? We exited Minosoft. People were crowded around the company, and there were a bunch of wanderers gathered. Some of them were seen moving kidnapped people. At this time, one armed man asked, Yun Sango SSI, who is this? Ah, he is one of my co-workers. We met by chance. HRMM, a wanderer? No one from a group is accepted. Do you know? Deputy Yoon nodded lightly, and the man passed by us. I looked at the man and asked, Who is this person? The manager of a coin farm, dot. Coin farm? Ah. Uh. Doc Jess SI doesn't know. For a moment, a dismal expression appeared on Deputy Yoon's face. Coin farm, that reminded me of something. But these guys already started it? Look here. There were two people trapped in cages placed at regular intervals, like it was a zoo or police station. The wanderers around them screamed with excitement. Hey! Are you kidding me? Fight harder! Who will give you coins if you look like this? Inside the cage, two people were fighting each other. Blood splashed, eyes were pulled out and a man with guts hanging out cried out like an animal. The constellation who likes the Colosseum is delighted. I looked closely, and there were several such cages. Not all of the cages contained fighting. There was one cage with a naked woman and several men inside, while another cage contained a lone woman, like the men had already finished with her. I could hear pained moans and cries from all corners. Outside the cages, the wanderers holding their penises were laughing. Hey, how are you? good? Come out quickly. Next is my turn, you bastard. The constellation who likes excitement is delighted. Deputy Yoon opened his mouth. In the game industry, consumers were the king. In Minosoft, the president was the king. Doc Jess SI, who is the king in this new world? Are you depending on the sponsorship of the constellations? Yes. Sometimes there are crazy constellations like this. The most stimulating the sight, the more coins that the constellations will give. It is like the star balloons. We get coins from these people, and in return, we provide them with food to survive. TL, star balloons are the way of donating on Korean video streaming sites. Deputy Yoon threw a chocolate bar into one cage. The woman behind bars cried out and grabbed for it. There were those in the world who first identified the system and figured out how to exploit it. The coin farm was the structure that those who first understood the world devised in order to take advantage of the system. 
I see people from our company, they were from our company. I realized for certain after hearing his cold tone. The deputy Yoon that I knew from Minosoft, he didn't exist in this world anymore. Hey! There are new slaves. Imprison them. Yes. The slaves were moved to the prisons. I was stunned to see a familiar face among them. Deputy Yoon smiled. Oh, there is a new one? Hey! Strip her and bring her to the cage. A petite person with white skin. Fine black hair that fell down to the shoulders and slightly raised eyebrows. I rubbed my eyes but there was no doubt. The first apostle, plagiarist Han Su-young, was here.